Good night, sweetheart. Time for your favorite book. If you give a mouse a sick day, he'll want nine more with rollover potential. If you give the mouse rollover potential, he's just going to want paid family leave. Um, I don't think that's how it goes. Shh, shh, shh. It is now. And if you give him paid family leave, he's going to want to include taking care of his cheesy old grandpa mouse. And if you give that greedy little mouse benefits, he's going to want to take a lunch break. What's this look about cookies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you give that lazy government teat-sucking mouse a cookie break, then he's just going to want a snack cabinet to escape from the drudgery of the rat race. And if you give that irresponsible, non-bootstrapping mouse the snack cabinet, then all the mice in his state will want a snack cabinet. Then all the mice in the country will want a snack cabinet. Then before you know it, our entire country has a mouse problem. If you give every mouse a snack cabinet, they'll demand safe working conditions so they don't get their ugly little tails caught in factory gears. And then they'll demand work Workers comp. If you give them workers' comp, then they'll have the time and means to realize that capitalism is built on cheap, disposable, exploitable labor. Well, it's uh, past my bedtime, so I'm just gonna, you know, go to sleep now. If they realize capitalism is built on cheap, disposable, exploitable labor, they'll organize the other mouse into a labor union and take away your profits from your investors, and then we won't be able to buy you cute little books like this! So the next time that your nanny asks, you can tell her that this is why she can never, ever, ever take a sick day. Profits over people, sweetie! Can we just read something else? Fat Cat in the Hat? The Taking Tree. Oh, I know. Atlas Shrugged! My favorite! 